If we were to rank the weirdest business partners of all time, Logan Paul and KSI would be right at the top. I have never seen two people become business partners while having so many contradicting friendships like they do. If we had a chart and showed who was friends with who, but who was also friends with people who hated the other person, it would be too complicated for me to even finish this edit. What's even more concerning about this interracial couple is that we're all overlooking how much of a slut these guys are for money. And I'm not talking about scamming people and paying them back, I'm talking about these guys were off a dog if Prime was involved. I don't care who you are. If someone offered me whatever to fight someone, I would decline because I don't like fighting. I'm not going to agree to something and then end up insane because I can't properly defend my wife without looking like a f to someone. Which is how Logan is acting. Defend your wife, you weirdo. His best comeback for the hundreds of tweets about his wife is calling him Dildo Danis and showing him a picture that he jacks off to. But as much as I would like to sit here and spread open apart Logan's cheeks, I'm here for another b-hole. A BB hole, a British butthole. But I don't know why I didn't think this would come out, but KSI and Tommy Fury had a face off, and it's just like The Office. The American version is better. Now, there was this face off, I guess you can call it that, before this actual one they had on Aiden Ross's stream, but this was on a Discord call, so it went exactly how it was expected to go. Jake, have you beaten every opponent in front of you? So obviously, we're going to be looking at the real face-off, and unlike Logan, KSI and Tommy weren't posting clips of this to make each other look bad, so I'm just going to go into this blind just like you guys. You guys just almost looked at each other and smiled, and then the smile turned into a bit of a mean stare. What, what was the smile for? Oh no, I'm just excited. Yeah? I'm excited October 14th, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock you out. Yeah. He does not sound confident at all. And who would be? KSI is probably a bigger joke to boxing than Jake Paul. He thinks his mediocre undefeated record means anything to anyone other than his fans. That's like me going undefeated for a week in Madden and thinking I can coach an NFL team. Anyone who has a FaZe Clan member on their record sheet and is flexing that they beat them in anything other than a video game is delusional. From what I can see across me, you ain't knocking nothing out. It's, I'll be honest with mm -hmm. you now, he's a lot smaller of a man than I thought he was. A lot I'm smaller. I'm a fast guy. Fast, Let powerful. me tell you now, I'm All my fast. powers in the legs. I'm powerful. You don't do leg day. I can see. And you do leg day. Yes, all the time. Please. Why is this literally an episode of what we do in the shadows? Like, look at this. Last night, there were all these people down there shouting and screaming half drunk. Well, where did they find the alcohol? No, they were half drunk. And then here's this again. A lot I'm a fast guy. Fast, Let powerful. Let me tell you now, I'm All my fast. powers in the legs. I'm powerful. You don't do leg day. I can see. And you do like day. Yes, all the time. Please. I think it's the way they're filming this, because they didn't have these kind of angles for the Logan Paul one. These are basically filmed the same way. I and know found no one that, that fights man. like me. Oh, really? There's no Every one Every amateur like in me. the country fights like you. There's no. Popping up and down on nope, your finger. No one fights like <gasps> me. <gasps> yep. We'll see. Do that against a professional boxer yep, and you'll and, see. And then I'll knock you out. And then we'll you'll be see. like, whoa, where am I? What's you know going the funniest on? Thing? KSI might be more monkey dick at comebacks than Logan Paul. What the fuck was that? And then I'll knock you out and you'll be like, huh, what? What's going on? As if everyone who gets knocked out doesn't already do that. What have you done? Who have you fought? You've done it's nothing. It's not about who I fought. It's about who I am. Right. Every person, every person always puts me as the underdog. And then when I come through and do my thing, they go, oh, I didn't expect that. Yeah, but who have you fought? I fought Logan Paul. Logan Paul's never won a fight. Does KSI realize he's fought Joe Fournier? I know he's not a big name in boxing, but he's way better than Logan. KSI has Logan so far down his throat, that's all he can think about. Who have you fought? Well, looking at the list, Logan Paul. Well, he hasn't won any fights. Well, looking at the lit. Yeah, I mean, cool. You're a bodybuilder. That I'm boxes. not a bodybuilder. No, I'm a boxer. I've been boxing since no, I was a kid. No, you're a bodybuilder that boxes. I've been boxing since I was a kid. You're stiff. stiff. I'm going to stiff you your think, jaw. You, you on think the you're 14th, fast. My you friend. think you're fast. Wait till you see me. Do you know what it is? Jake Paul, you can't compare me with Jake Paul. I yes, know. you've got the experience. All right. I'm but okay. I'm going to fight you. I'm not going to box you. I'm going to fight what you. I'm going to stand there in the middle of the ring. Middle of the ring, and I'm gonna you. swing. British food and making KSI popular have got to be the biggest mistakes England has ever made. He is a joke. He knows his fans are so young, they won't realize that he contradicts himself constantly. He just said he was gonna run away from Tommy earlier. Now he's like, I'm not gonna box you. I'm gonna fight you. Does the British education system not teach you guys about words and what they mean and what a synonym is? But Jake Paul's a bigger man and can hit no, harder. He, no, he doesn't. Look yes, at me, he Jake Paul is older than me. Who have you knocked out? I've knocked out uh, Temple. Who's, I don't even know who's, who's Temper. Face Temper. I've knocked Fournier with my f 
Four. Forney. I didn't even get to mother, him with my, my fist. My mother could beat Forney. So okay, let's cool. not count that, please. So then, when I knock you out and, and you destroy hit him with your elbow, you, by the way, October fourteenth. Are you following Jake Paul's script? Because it sounds like you I'm are. I'm not following his script. Well, that's exactly I'm a what he said. Man. And what happened? Care. He yeah, had to go back he... and fight Nate Diaz, who, who okay, made a stinker cool. of a show. So who am I? KSI. See, now he's starting to sound like Logan. Who am I? Who are you talking to? You talking to me? Are you talking? Are you si you talking to me? You talk you talking to us? You fucking you talk. How many rounds is it? Six rounds. I wanted eight. When I hit what you, you, I hitting? hit like a truck, bro. Me mum gives better mm -hmm. harder slaps than you. I Shot. can't wait to see your face. So you were telling you. me you hit mm -hmm. harder mm -hmm. than the best fighter in the world, Tyson Fury. At six foot nine. I hit seven. harder than Jake Paul. No, no, I'm talking about Tyson. Because I've, I've, I've been getting hit off him my whole Tyson. life. So what makes you think you, you can do Tyson something to me? Tyson doesn't hit hard like people like Wilder and shit like that. That right there should have let you know that KSI is just in this for attention and doesn't care, or at least barely cares about the fight. The only way KSI can look good when going up against a real fighter is if he doesn't take it seriously and just undermines whatever the other person says, no matter how stupid it makes him look. I don't even like boxing, and I know Tyson Fury would fucking kill me with a punch. No man who's built like that stays undefeated without a reason. Every British person's anger from when we left to make America is all being held in Tyson Fury's fists, and that's why he's undefeated. KSI, on the other hand, has more of the anger the British had from the Boston Tea Party in his fists. But honestly, this face-off wasn't as good as the Logan and Dylan one, mostly because these two aren't going back and forth on Twitter and are just instead promoting the fight the standard way, which isn't bad, but obviously people are more excited for the Logan Paul fight because they want to see him just knock or knock Dylan the fuck out and pop a boner on live TV right after. In this one, I'm hoping Tommy wins. If he doesn't, boxing literally gets put down about five ranks on the top 10 sports list. It might even get kicked off. And number 10 is the dogs going through that obstacle thing. So either way, I just want to see someone get knocked out and not have it go to six rounds and have it be a judge's decision. And also, until they crack down on that streaming stuff, I'm not going to ever pay for one of these YouTube boxing matches. See you guys Tuesday or Wednesday. Peace.